you know, it wasn't long before somebody wanted to ask the sex educator on this notion about vabbing and whether it actually works as the way people say it works. And for those of you that are not up to speed, vabbing is this viral TikTok trend that's taking off where women are dabbing their vaginal secretions at their pulse points to attract a mate. Uh, let's just be clear here though, from a scientific evidence point of view, there currently exists no scientific evidence that says that humans actually create pheromones, nor do they create any substance that actually works in the way that vabbing says that it does. No one is discounting that odors and fragrances, much like music and lighting, can alter mood states and physiological arousal. However, do humans actually create a compound that is capable of altering a mood state? No, there is no scientific evidence that supports this. You know, pheromones were first discovered in insects where substances were excreted to the outside in an effort to elicit a specific response. So like a behavior or a developmental process. So studies looked at how silkworms would excrete a substance that would initiate and guide the flight of the male silkworm. In 1960s, this concept of pheromones was actually generalized towards mammals. And it was an entomologist in 1963 called Wilson that tried to liken the concept of pheromones to the musk-like scents that are um, excreted by mammals. However, what many people missed was that those musk-like scents that were excreted served many purposes, none of them usually related to attracting a mate. So think, uh, marking your territory, defending your territory, or even identification between the sexes. Literature went on to focus on like the vaginal secretions of the rhesus monkey and how sometimes they can elicit copulatory behavior from the males or the tarsal sweat gland of the black-tailed deer and how it could elicit licking out of females. However, these chemicals did not release behavior in a simple way. And this is the unfortunate side effect of this generalization in assuming that mammals communicate in a simple response stimulus way. This search for human pheromones started back in 1971. And to this day, there is still no scientific evidence that actually validates whether there is a chemical or a set of chemicals that can be construed as a human pheromone. What did happen though, some researchers did assume that androgen related steroids in the body did work as pheromonal agents. What is probably more relevant is that this act of vabbing is creating a sense of confidence, a sense of self-assurance in yourself. And it is you, the fact that you are more open to attracting a mate and this way of being is actually what is actually attracting the mate, not the vaginal secretions at your neck.